video we showed a fun new braid. Today we're going to be doing basically the same thing just in reverse and I will have our original video linked below. So to start out with you just want to grab a small section here at the top of the ponytail and add a rubber band. And then I'm going to split this section in half and just create a hole. And then I'm going to bring my two fingers up through the center of that. And one side at a time, I'm just going to take small sections and I'm going to bring them through the center of that hole and out the other side. I'm just going to repeat this about four times on each side of this. See, it made like a little miniature fishtail braid in this section. Now I'm going to take these strands that I had brought through the center of that and I'm just going to clip them to the side of her head for now to keep them out of the way. For the next step, I'm going to add another elastic down this ponytail and we're just going to repeat those same steps. So same thing as before, I'm just going to split this section in half and bring four strands through each side. I'm just going to grab a section of hair here from underneath and I'm going to start a regular braid. So I'm splitting this into three and I'm just going to be adding in the sections from this little fishtail braid, making sure that I'm taking four on each section. Moving on to the next piece, and I'm going to take four from this section as well. Then we're just going to do the same thing over here. And again, you're just going to want to make sure you grab four strands from each of these sections just so that it turns out even. We have everything braided in. For the last step, we're just going to tie these two braids together here at the bottom. Okay, here's the finished braid. I'm going to insert a picture of the braid that we did last week so that you can see how different they turn out. We really didn't change much. We just reversed the fishtail, but it did turn out completely different. Okay. 